Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at some maintenance and potential troubleshooting with your Upbox 3D printer, more specifically with the Z-axis. Right now if your Z-axis is skipping or making some grinding noises, then one thing we'll need to look at is lubricating the Z-axis rail so that it travels up and down smoothly. It's a good idea to do this anyway as a preventative measure because this Outbox is a piece of machinery, it will need lubricating from time to time, so we're going to look at that. Now after we've looked at that, we're going to look at doing the X and Y rails as well. Alright, so the first way we're going to look at lubricating the Z-axis rail is by using our Z-axis adjuster screw back here to insert some sewing machine oil. So I've got some sewing machine oil here, and I've also got a syringe applicator. Right now this is the easiest way to do it, this is the easiest way to lubricate your Z-axis because it doesn't involve taking anything apart. Right now with your Z-axis adjuster screw over here, all we need to just do is simply inject a little bit of sewing machine oil into there, try not to get any anywhere else in the box, keep it nice and clean. Now that will start to run down quite slowly, sewing machine oil is quite thin and tends to distribute quite evenly. Right, if you do see this start to fill up, then try and stop, maybe take a little bit out and then we'll look at raising and lowering the platform. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll give it a little while to go all the way to the bottom of the screw. Now there is a big screw behind here, there's the extra screw, and that's what we're attempting to lubricate. Okay, so once that's run down, we want to look at turning on our up box and raising and lowering the platform. Now once we've applied the sewing machine oil to the Z-axis adjuster screw. Next part we'd look at would be raising and lowering the platform, all right? But we'll look at that at the end of the video. The next stage we're gonna move on to is if we had uh, lithium grease to do this job, all right? Now doing it with lithium grease because it has a spray applicator would involve removing this back panel here and accessing the screw directly, okay? Sewing machine oil is good, um, but it is a temporary solution for lubrication. It is best to do the lithium grease method as it lasts longer and lubricates better. All right, so just unplugging or unclipping a rainbow cable that's covered by this black covering and sliding it out of the hole at the bottom so that we can raise this panel all the way up. There we go. All right, now behind here, we should be able to see and have access to the Z-axis screw. So we've got our Z motor, our Z-axis screw traveling all the way down to the bottom, and that's what raises and lowers the platform. Now, if this was under lubricated, what we're looking to do at this stage is use something like lithium grease. Lithium grease is perfect. You can pick it up from your local hardware store. Uh, most places will supply it, and we'd give this a decent spray with lithium grease. Now one more thing that you will want to do is just put something behind the Z-axis screw, piece of paper, just to prevent uh, any, any spray getting around the back of the printer, prevent any mess. So we try to keep it contained. All right, so we've exposed our Z-axis panel, uh, Z-axis here, we've moved the Z-axis panel. So we're gonna give it a spray with some lithium grease. Now again, place some paper in behind, just to prevent overspray going back. In fact, one of the most important things we're protecting here is the motherboard, which sits just behind. So with that piece of, piece of paper in place, protecting our back, we'll just give it a quick spray. Some lithium grease at the top. Then we'll go underneath. At the bottom. So a couple of more things. We don't just want to lubricate this Z-axis screw. We might also want to lubricate, we will also lubricate these rails on the side as well. So just keep those in mind when you're uh, splaying your lithium grease. Make sure you do these rails because this oilless bearing here and this one over here can get a little dry with the platform raising and lowering so much. Now that we've lubricated our Z-axis, we just want to put the panel back into place. Make sure that the cable slides down and these slots go down correctly. And then we'll put our screws back in place. All right, so now that we've lubricated our Z-axis down here and the linear rails either side, then we've put all that back together. 
We will need to raise and lower the z-axis or the platform a few times to distribute that evenly, but while we have the printer powered off, we'll look at lubricating these axes rails, the y-axis rails, and these ones running back and forth on either side as well. All right, so the easiest way to do that is again with our lithium grease. And this time, just with a piece of tissue paper. So we'll apply some lithium grease to the tissue paper. And we'll use our tissue paper to grease the rails. Now you don't want too much on there so there's, there's excess, but if you do see a little bit of the white grease on the rails, that's fine. All right, we'll just move it left and right to distribute it evenly. And the next part we'll do these rails on the side. Right, get a little bit dry, we'll put some more grease on there. And we'll do the other side as well. All right, and just like with distributing it left and right, we'll distribute it back and forth as well. Make sure we get a nice even coating. There you go. Now this rail at the back, we don't really have to worry too much about because nothing travels along it. All right, so now that we've put our lubrication on the Z-axis, and we've also done the X and the Y rails as well, we want to raise and lower the Z-axis so that we can distribute that, uh, that grease evenly. So in our dialog box in our maintenance window here, or calibrate window, sorry, uh, we'll type in 200. Now the up box has a range, a height range of about 203 to 208. So 200 is pretty close to the top. Now we'll type in 200 and we'll just click move. Now what that's gonna do, that's gonna raise the platform all the way to 200 mils. Once it's done that, we can change that 200 to zero and we'll click move again. Now if you were getting that horrible grinding noise, you wanna keep doing this until that disappears. All right, now it should disappear either straight away or gradually now that you've got the lubricant on there. So you do that a couple of times uh, until it disappears. And then once you've done that, you'll need to reinitialize your printer. Again, only if you're getting the Z-axis grinding. If you're doing this lubrication as a preventative measure, don't worry too much. Otherwise, make sure you initialize your printer and make sure that the Z-axis grinding noise has gone away completely before you start to print. If it's still there, you may need to think about re-lubricating your axis or simply raising and lowering the platform a few more times.